All right, hello my friends. <laughs> Let's see if today everything works, at least a little bit. Uh, one second. Oh, okay, we have already. <laughs> I fiddled around with my stream deck and so, every single time, every single time. Okay, wait a second. There's the color. We have the color on, there's the background. Ah, all right. Background fix, there we go. <laughs> oh my God, every single time. Anyways, today I have my Stream Deck connected so I can press some buttons, hopefully. And I have like a subscribe. Uh, oh, it's not in that scene. Okay, so that doesn't even work right now. Hey, wait a second, I can add to the scene. One sec, <laughs> but then I can't turn it off. Hmm, we do it later, no problem. Ah, hi everybody, how are you doing? Uh, from Morocco, hey, how? Uh, hi, hi, <laughs> how, how, how? <laughs> hi Matt, hi Paul, hi Ricardo, um, hi Nim Motion, hi Olga, how are you doing? Uh, Paul is from P Poland, okay, nice. Uh, Matthias from Sweden, hi. Tsubasa, hi, thanks for joining. Um, Maggie Mister, hi, I remember that name. Very nice, and a lot of other people. Marduk is here, Ricardo, Deluxsham, um, Neo Futuro. Hey, I um, actually um, built a version of your workflow that I will give as a um, reward to my Patreons. Of course, I also will like link to you. I haven't recorded the video yet about that. Um, hi, Eric, how are you doing? Hi, Artista, thanks for joining. Hi, Pulse, thanks for joining. Hi, Chip. Um, yeah. Looking forward to this stream. Uh, this stream, again, we can do some um, uh, 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 reviews of your works. And we can do some other stuff. One second. Let me find the link for that. That would be a good idea. Uh, copy. That's good. And then we're going to put that into our chat. If I find the chat, that would also be good. Huh? Uh, Neptune from Brazil. Hi, how are you doing? And Han from Mongolia. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, Night Motion from Los Angeles. Hi, Super Fun from Kali. Kali, interesting. Uh, Chip from Bristol, UK. Hi, sorry, I'm not uh, uh, going directly through the list. Uh, submit your AI art. Okay, you can put that here if you want to. And then in the meantime, we can do some other stuff. We can look at some um processes and ideas and things i if you, if, you have, if you have seen that with my video yesterday i started to do some ex more experimentation with ai uh, video stuff um yeah is that is the stuff i showed yesterday something that is interesting in general because i thought um, while it is a cool reward for my uh, Patreon supporters, it might not be like specific enough as a video, as a tutorial on how I made that with the mask. 
Um, not sure about that. This is why I made it the reward because I think like it's a it's a cool concept. You can do more with that, uh, but it's also not like a new technique, you know, using a mask. Even though I don't see many people using masks to do like abstract patterns and stuff like that. So, hmm, not quite sure about that. Uh, also today I wanted to try out if we can maybe have background music, you know, like a copyright free background stream. Even though like in that case I would have to wear oh. Um, I would have to wear headphones and I only have these big gaming headphones. So not sure if that's ideal for that um, We can figure it out. Anyways, we can figure it out. Uh, if you want to you can um, submit your work here uh, Pin message. There we go So now it's on the top of the stream. You can check it out there submit some work so we can look at if you want to um, no political stuff, no nude stuff, um, of course, uh, no waifu stuff, May maybe a little bit, but like, you know what I mean, like not, not excessive amounts. Okay. Anyways, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me find where I put that. Wow. <laughs> there, there is a tool that you can use that arranges the windows on your like desktop in a certain way that you can prepare and you can save that. I don't know what that software is called, but I have to find that uh, because that could be really useful. Um, okay. Also, by the way, um, another thing. I feel like my channel has become a little bit too specific, maybe. Like, I, I like that, like stuff with ConfuEye and things like that, but it's a little bit nerdy, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, it's maybe not the, the stuff that most people are looking for, even though it is interesting. But, um, hmm, maybe we should do some more general things on the channel. Because, like, even though the stuff is nice, maybe I should keep the nerd stuff a little bit more to Patreon, like these, like, specific solutions. And then, I don't know, you know, or maybe keep them to the live stream. I was also thinking maybe I could stream two times a week because you've seen like my video amount is going going down a little bit. How many videos I mean, I, to be honest, burned out a little bit um, with the, like doing one video per day and then also having the stress of like creating good content, uh, the pressure every day. So you have no day off ever. That uh, was a little bit too much. Um, so that is also eating a little bit into that. Uh, and streaming is always relaxing. It's always cool to hang out with you guys. So um, that is pretty nice. Uh, and it's literally, you don't really need too much preparation and you can show at the same time cool stuff because you have two hours instead of like 10 minutes. But then also in the two hours, you can do much more than you can do in preparing four hours or like, let's say, you know, sometimes it's three, four hours preparation for a video to find a topic, research it, uh, test it in several ways. Like yesterday with that new um, sampler, I tried out for I think two hours to get something good out of it. And I did not understand how it works. Like it, it has, it has to be specific for anime because it, it's like, it's supposed to be better. And some people have better results. I couldn't find better results. So um, that is why I was a little bit skeptical if that is actually good news or not. I had some other news about ComfuEye, but I was a little bit not hundred percent confident that I should do uh, yet another ComfuEye video. Um, even though there was like two pretty cool uh, things that um, thank you very much for. Um, oh, God. Um, I am so bad with usernames. One second. <laughs> and I should know this username in and out. Triple head monkey. There we go. I wasn't quite sure if it's like triple or something else. Uh, triple head monkey, which is one of my mods on the Discord server. Um, thank you very much for sending me some updates on, on stuff that is going on. Uh, I might pack that in a video, in a in a soon to come video. Let's see. Let's let's see what was the uh, what is the chat saying? Paul says it's a general decision, uh, being nerdy or being public. Yeah, totally right. Um, I feel like in the channel I had before with photography, I had a much much smaller audience, but at the same time. Uh, we always like did cool projects together with the community, right? Like about like different techniques of editing photos. How do you take good photos? Stuff like that. It got like way less views uh, than AI stuff. But at the same time, it was pretty cool because we were just like 
nerding out about like different things of making more interesting, more beautiful pictures, right? And editing them in, in interesting ways. So that was also good. It doesn't always have to be like the big numbers. I think like the big numbers is covered by Matt um, Wolfie anyways, right? <laughs> he, he's going for the big, big numbers. Um, yes. Anyways. Um, I should start off, uh, what, what should we do? To be honest, I have to also be honest, I haven't used Automatic 11.11 in, in quite a while because I'm always going to ConfUI. It's so much quicker. It's so much easier for me to like just, uh, and I can, I can build specifically the solution I, I need. I don't understand why most people don't want to use it. Um, it might be more complex, but to be honest, like all these kind of settings you have in Automatic 11.11 or these other UIs, there's a ton of settings also, you know, and you can't even adjust it. You can't even arrange it. You can't even change how the data flows through these extensions. Everything is like pre-made for you, which is good because it's like, um, it's, it's, it repeats easier, you know, um, like you can go in there and know where everything is. It's a little bit like Lightroom basically, where you know where every adjustment is. And because of that, you can edit a lot of stuff faster. Uh, but then it's it's less like it doesn't inspire creativity, which is why um, if you want to be really creative, you have to go to Photoshop to keep that um, same uh, 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 comparison. And in Photoshop, you can do the filters and the adjustments and stuff you want to do in any kind of way and add uh, any kind of extension to it and even write your own extensions for it, right? Um, when will the Stable Diffusion 3 be released? I don't know. I, I still didn't get access to that, which is crazy. Um, I feel like I get like, I'm the last person to get access to stuff. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why that always happens. Um, it's really strange. Um, old videos together? Hmm, I thought about that to cut old videos together. I see like, for example, like comedy channels do that. But then again, their videos are like five minutes long, three minutes long. And one of my videos is like 10 minutes. So I mean, I could do it. That's maybe we should do that. A one half an hour, a one hour video with like five videos cut together. That might be good. Might be interesting. I don't know. Hmm. I got too lazy to install ConfUI. It's literally just downloading it and hitting the install button because it's self-contained. Everything you need, even the Python version is inside of ConfUI, inside its own folder. Uh, so, um, and then you link your automatic 11.11 files and that's it. There's, it's like really the easiest thing to install is ConfUI. The upkeep is difficult. Uh, because sometimes extensions kind of like break and you don't know why they don't work and you have to update uh, all of them or stuff like that. You know, in that way, it can be a little bit complex, but um, overdose, prefer it overdose. Overdose? I use ConfUI. I prefer it overdose. Do you mean you prefer it over automatic 11? I might, that might be like a, a uh, uh, spell check from your smartphone or something. Hi, Nicolas from France. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. I want to buy my potatoes. This is not then. What? <laughs> what are you talking about here? Um, anyways, uh, my mouse. Oh, there it is. My mouse came back. Okay, cool. Uh, let me let me see what we have as results here, so we can check that out. And then, um, one second, let me check these results first, the first three. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then that's also very nice. What is that? Stable Diffusion 3D model. Huh? What the heck? I'm scheduling. Oh, hmm? We have to explain when we look at it. One second. So we only have three submissions. If you want to submit more, then we have kind of a waifu, but that's kind of still okay. Uh, so yeah, let's let's open that up. One second. I have my stream deck. I can press a button and hopefully. Oh oh okay, it loaded. <laughs> it worked good. I bought a stream deck like I don't know maybe a year, two years ago, and never really used it. 
because I don't do many effects. But now we have this cool thing. Let's see if it works. Please work. Oh, <laughs> subscribe button. I also need to find like a like button or something like that. This is looping, so I have to turn it off. But well, at least I can remind people to subscribe. So this is the first submission here for today. That is from Chip. And it looks pretty amazing with that landscape. A little bit scary here on the book. Pretty nice. And then some, yeah, I don't know, like a, like a, is it like a church scene with the cross here and stuff? There is like a skull down here. Has a lot of like interesting details in there. So um, that's pretty cool. It's very nice. Way better in Suno. Confu eye. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, thanks for joining from Chile. Pretty cool. The end of credits of Fallout TV series are I, as a depth map. Really interesting. I haven't seen yet the end, but I have seen like the first one two episodes it's pretty cool a lot of fan service in there have i have you played um uh, fallout i have to admit i am not a fallout fan uh in the in the sense that like the only thing i played was a little bit of like fallout 4. i played, played it maybe for five hours six hours but it's like i'm like i'm very visual as a person and fallout is just like not so nice to look at it's graphically like beautiful technically but the scenery is just like you stumble around on a on a chunk yard for 50 hours and i was like i wasn't in it that for that and like i felt like every every quest is like go there shoot this guy go there shoot this guy it was a little bit lacking in the in the department of being more having more variety of the different scenes and then also having more variety in the ways you solve the quests. Skyrim, I liked a lot better because there's like different areas. There's a lot of exploration. There's a lot of things you stumble upon. There's a lot of story and lore and discussions with the people, stuff like that. Um, the TV, the, 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 the show on Amazon is pretty amazing. I kind of feel like Amazon is getting almost better than like Disney Plus and stuff like that uh, because they have like pretty good shows for their own let's go to the next image by the way um they have pretty good shows on their own and then also um they have all that other content from a lot of different backgrounds um dream car animation after effects stable diffusion sora that's probably just like the hashtag to get <laughs> to get some more views let's leave a like here um 3D model by Sketchfab and then another Sketchfab thing here. Maybe that's the room where the car is in. So I guess you made an animation in 3D and then you rendered over it with um, stable diffusion to make it look cooler, which is why this is changing so much into this kind of like different designs, different colors and stuff like that. Ah, there is the, there's just a 3D model. And then eh, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. I still haven't come around to actually animating 3D and then rendering it with um, with AI as a video. Really, really should do that. Very nice. Very cool. Looks very good. Interesting. Yeah. By the way, I'm going to be on a podcast uh, from I got I don't even know from whom. Uh, Ellen something. He has some pretty big names on there. People from big movie studios, uh, from uh, Stability AI and so on. Um, and I'm going to be the guest on, I think, Monday or Tuesday. I don't remember what this podcast is called, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the worst promo ever. Okay. But this is pretty cool. That looks very good. Um, it was made by the original franchise creators. Uh, by Bethesda, the series. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice that they did that. If you played Fallout... The first Fallout games are round-based, and I hate round-based games. I can't do that. It's just not my kind of thing. I, I want to have like an action RPG where when I shoot, I want to shoot. I don't want to press a button and then someone else shoots for me. That's, I, I don't know. It's just not my kind of thing uh, to do it like that. This is why I, I, I can't I can't play them. The same thing, I can't play like the Final Fantasy games, the early ones, because it's just like a group of people standing there and you, you, you juggle numbers. Mm, I don't know. It's not, it's not my kind of thing. 
Anyways, let's go on. <laughs> there we have the waifu. Um, apocalyptic waifu. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Wow. That waist is almost breaking off. That's very thin. Holy crap. There we go. Anyways, pretty cool. Very nice graphic. Very nice um, posture. Even if the everything is exaggerated. But I mean like probably like a superhero kind of thing. Um, I tried some crazy prompts with random numbers and text and see what the models output. That's also pretty cool. Like just try uh, like trying um, a, a crazy um, uh, just prompts, just words. I like that with Mid Journey because Mid Journey is really good at like you can literally put anything. You can write Google Gaga and it's it's out. You get a really nice output from that. By the way, let me switch to the. Oh God, what's the buttons here? I think this is the right button. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, so I can check the next entries for that. By the way, the last two were Paul with the animation and then Max with the uh, end of the world waifu. <laughs> and Night Motion sent three images, even though it's just one submission. Oh, okay. Let's let's find the best one of those. These are different styles, though. Nope, not that one. And then let's see this one. Hmm. Let's take the first one because the first one is different from the style, from what we usually see. And then maybe we can fall back to something else afterwards. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, I have to press this button here. Yes. I don't like one thing I don't like about this kind of setup I have right now is that when I, I switch the scene, for some reason it goes to black. It has probably something to do with that. It's it's like turning off in the background while I'm using it or something like that. Did I? S ah, deactivate when not showing. So I should probably turn that off. And then the web the webcam should be on. That shouldn't be a problem. Let me try that again. One second. We go to the big screen. There we go. That's immediate. And then we go back. Ah, that's okay. Figure it out. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining. Nice to have you. Um, when you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. I sank lately. I sank a lot of time into um, uh, 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 what is it called? Destiny Two, which is a, a time grave. I'm kind of getting out of it already again. Kind of like um, I still have to play the last. DLC. They had a humble bundle where you can get all of the DLC. So I have to play through the last one. By the way, we, we should talk about the artwork, which is pretty cool. Very different from what you usually see. So that's very nice. Um, uh, because like there's uh, there's too much of the same stuff, I feel like. Um it created with the eye, which I, I also mostly create the same stuff as everybody. Um but I think there should be some more variation. Maybe we should try for that. That would be good uh, if I would um, be a good example in that way and like just create other stuff. But again, this is like very different from from the artistic style. It's pretty cool, um, and it's it's kind of interesting how detailed the face is, and then the rest, especially the body, becomes more and more abstract. So that's pretty interesting. Um, very nice. Pretty cool artwork. Okay. I started playing Destiny 2, but I'm a free to. I think you can do most of the stuff uh, for free to play. Um, and then, man, yeah, the, the humble bundle's already over. It was like 16 bucks or something. Or was it like 20 bucks? I can't remember. Uh, but it was very cheap for all of the DLC. So that was pretty cool. I was even giving away two of them, I think, to my subscribers. Where did I give that away? I can't remember. Anyways, um, did we did we check the other stuff? One second. Let me switch back here so we can. Oh, we don't have other submissions. Okay, submit more stuff if you want to, so you can re we can review that. And then in the meantime, should we do some other stuff? Maybe. Um, pay to win. Um, no, not at all. Like first of all, uh, Destiny Two is mostly PVE, so there is no like being better or something um and then also the only thing you can buy is cosmetics and you don't need them and they are like not even that important you get a lot of interesting stuff in the game all of the weapons that drop are dropped by gameplay 
Uh, so there's no pay to win in there. It's um, it's a lot of fun. It can be pretty challenging or pretty relaxing, depending on what you want to do. Um, anyways, uh, should we do some AI stuff? Maybe. Let me let me fire up here. Um, Confuei. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then we can see what we're doing there. One second. Or should we do Krita? What what would you like more? Like Confu I playing around with different nodes, or should we do Krita painting scenes and see what we get from that? What would be more interesting for that? Um what is more to your liking? Oh Udio. What is Udio? Suno or Udio? Ah, with the music? No, I haven't tried Udio yet. I have tried Suno, which is pretty cool. Very good also with the lyrics and stuff like that. Um, did anyone use the last update plugin for AI for Krita, the mask tool? There's an update. I haven't seen the update. Krita? Most people say Krita. Okay, let's wait a little bit more. <laughs> um, by the way, we could try for the, although with the big headphones, I can't listen to the music. Hmm. Should we do music? I don't know. Audio is amazing. I should try that. Uh, let me let, let me make uh, make a note over here. Audio. All right. Should try that. Um, both are cool. It's more interactive. Okay, we can try that. We can play around a little bit with uh, Krita and see what we get. Um, and do maybe some. Let's see. Where do I even have it? There we go. Until you submit some more stuff. So we do some some art. Artsy fartsy. There we go. Um with the scenes. Should we include Blender in that or no? Or hmm. We can start off with the with the size that is correct for that. Let's go like this. And then I have to move that over to here. One second, like this. And then we should be able to start that. Oh, it's already it is already running. Okay, cool. And then we have to go here. What do we do? Like Gothic fantasy. All right, let's switch over so you can see my PC. Oh, I'm, I'm clicking on the buttons here. Shouldn't do that. Okay, let's hit subscribe. There we go. Is, is kind of it's not completely centered is it move it a little bit over here there we go okay cool don't forget <laughs> if you're not subscribed yet all right anyways um let's let's give this a shot krita is ms paint plus no no krita is one of the best digital painting tools uh even i would say even better than photoshop for for digital painting not for photo editing for digital painting hmm Okay, let's start here with some magic. Um, by the way, let me move this over here. You don't need to see my brushes or layers. I don't think that's too interesting, unless you think it's interesting. But I don't think the layers on it on them own. On, 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 I can't speak anymore. Um, actually, while we do this, maybe we make another scene. Maybe like this, and then. Do we have a crap, cr crop, not a crap tool, a crop tool? Um, gotta crop it like this, maybe? What would that be? A thousand, thousand four hundred something? A thousand five hundred? That looks good. Mm hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Give me my brush back. Zoom in a little bit. Eh. I not too happy about that zooming thing here. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay, cool. So we are going to go with LCM so you can see live what's happening. We're gonna set this up to Gothic fantasy maybe. And then I need to have my brush tool here. And we can go and start some uh, like a scene. Let's start out like this. That's already pretty cool. Oh, um, I want. I need to put the noise layer. One second, forgot about that. Why? Why I'm not filling this, by the way? 
old man, fill. <laughs> Hit the fill button. Okay, we're already finished. Uh, let me make a new layer here one second. And then we're going to fill this. If I find the fill tool, that would be magical. There we go. I don't know if it filled because I will use the wrong color. There we go. Okay. We're going to go to filters and then we go into um, 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 random noise. That sounds good. Make it very noisy. Noise it up, baby. Okay. And I'm going to set this to overlay opacity about 20%. So we have some noise in here. Going to lock that layer. And then we're going to start the prompt here. Um, gothic. What, what are we going to do? Gothic. Hmm. Or, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, castle in the Alpine landscape. A little bit boring. Maybe if you have better ideas, let me know. Let's see if this is rendering at all. And then also I need to see what you're writing over here. <laughs> it's Photoshop XXL. Is it? I mean, it's very good. I, I really like it. I even have some time-lapse drawing videos on there from the past blast from the past stuff that i did um in the past wow look at that Ooh, kind of like the stuff before that we saw how how high should we go how high are you <laughs> how high are you there we go and then you can um i need my brush you can start to brush some stuff in here that is too big and then let's go like this maybe like so you can put some or maybe set it more gray so you can put some mountain stuff here there we go it's not 100 percent. oh i think it is 100 percent. i'm just like too um not too strong here wow this is already exploding this thing is already exploding all over the screen look at that wow <laughs> <laughs> it's it's night for some reason. Maybe we go a little bit brighter here. Make this a little bit snowy in the foreground. Whoops, that's too small. How about we go like this? Wow. Okay. Um, let's go a lot darker here so we can maybe paint the house in there. One second, let's say we want to go like this. How about that? And then make this bigger like so and put that over here, maybe a little bit one here. And then we go like that. Let's see what we get from that. It's very different though. Let's limit this a little bit because it's kind of like a little bit too strong. 75, there we go. It's kind of putting some stuff back here, but anyways. Okay. Um, oh, interesting. Let me check the. Whoops, sorry. Let me check the chat real quick. I don't know. Creator is looking great. Um, it's it's for free. You can you can download it for free and try it out and see what you get from that, uh, and do any kind of thing with that. Um, it has a lot of brushes. I think you can also download like free brush sets online if you want to. Uh, and then uh, this kind of extension, this is not part of Krita. This is an extension that runs ConfUI in the background. You don't have to interact with ConfUI at all while you're doing that. Um, okay. Um, do you have some better ideas for like, what, what could we do? Like, this is a little bit boring here, maybe. Um, update first your Krita. Ah yes, you probably yes. I would go to the the like the latest version of Krita and then install the plugin. I have a video on my on my YouTube channel on how to um, uh, how to set this up. Okay, um, let's change this here one second. Mars Valley, how about that? Science Station on Mars Valley. We can also, 
Wow. <laughs> You see, like one of the things I don't like too much about um, I don't like too much about AI is that it like it really hits you in the face with the solution right away. You do you don't really have a chance to to adjust or adapt anything. You know, it's just like boom and it's it's done. It's ready for you. You know. By the way, I should have probably um, I should have probably made the background separate from the foreground that was not a good idea um let's give me a gray and put that down here but the good thing with this is you just have like a lot of um control over the uh the composition you want to create with that right <laughs> set it and failed <laughs> what the hell is this um Science station observatory. Does it turn into observatory? Maybe that would be nice. Maybe make this a little bit smaller here. Or maybe ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hello, my friends. How's that? That is pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> right away. Boom and done. Ready. And the cool thing is like you can switch that over because you have that button here so I can make this a layer. So now this has become a layer. I can pull that under my noise layer and then I can use that as an input and I can like can I can go on here uh, painting stuff, refining stuff. You can see it already like adds different details. You can also use the details if you want to by like copying that over and then um, deleting uh, parts out of that. So for example, if I copy this over now to the right side, um, I can use my eraser brush one second, make that bigger and say, okay, I want to only keep that part and I want to go back uh, for the other parts keep the original so you just erase that stuff out of it and so you have basically now a combination of both so you can see I can turn this part here on and off and like that you can like do really quick photo bashing so to speak right sorry I should look at the at the chat sorry I should look at the chat sometimes uh, reminding in Korea and Leonardo but a Photoshop type UI yes and that's the big uh, that is the big benefit is that you have all of the tools you need in here. This is a full fledged graphic design, not design, but like digital painting program. While when you go to a website from all these cool uh, AI startups, they have like a minimal thing where you can paint. You have one brush and then um, you don't have any tools or blend modes or uh, filters or adjustments or all the kind of thing you actually need to create something. You can only like paint a little bit, which to be honest is what I'm doing right now. You can do more with that. But um, the important thing is the tools are here, right, to, to work with that. Hi, Ultimate Golf. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. The extension uses ConfUI, yes, but you never interact with that actively. You can also link it to your ConfUI you have already installed, um, but that's just like extra steps unless you really need it because you build a workflow and you want to have more control over that. I don't see necessarily a reason to do that, right? Um, you can also, by the way, you can go in here and make, for example, a selection. Um, like for example down here and then it's going to render only that part so you can see now it's switched over to that part down here so i can go back to my brush and i can start like painting stuff in down there for example i can say um i want to have here um i don't say let's say a, a vehicle or something exploration vehicle let's go like this exploration vehicle oh it created some like dru druids um, sci-fi exploration truck maybe truck how about that truck does it give me something no it's staying very classical hmm it's because i'm using the gothic fantasy thing we could we could switch here to another style which might change the art style, but 
Never mind that. Go a little bit stronger here. Always have the problems with the in painting, to be honest. Always the same. Ah, there we go. Well, it's it's like not very sci-fi-ish though. Exploration vehicle. Vehicle, vehicle. There we go. That's pretty cool. Should we should we stay with that one? You can also change the seat up here if you want to. Let's see what else we get. Yeah, it looks a little bit like Halo. What else do we get? Hmm. Hmm. I want to have something more. I mean, you can also like use that and then have the AI render over that again, right? So that's also these kind of like abilities you have here with the ink painting stuff. Hmm. Let's go a little bit higher here on the strength. Come on, give me something good. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Let's go a little bit lower again. I mean, it's already pretty nice the way we have it, so we probably don't need. Um, Moon Rover, how about that? Moon Rover. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. Let's I take that one. That's nicer. Let me see if we take this and go back to the Gothic fantasy, what we get from that. Ah. Okay, take that one. Pretty nice. Very nice. Very cool. Okay, let's stop this real quick. Select, deselect. Look at that. We have a little, we have a little like Mars rover down here. We have our science station over here. How cool is this? How nice is that? And that's with with no effort whatsoever. Okay, what does the chat say? And then also don't forget to submit some stuff. Gesserit are coming. Benny Gesserit are coming. Who is Benny Gesserit? Um. Pony? Suppose yes. There are now two tile control nets for XL beside from Blur. Ah, okay, cool. Use Rover. Yes, you're right. Rover is better. What is the difference between Pony XL and SDXL? I have to say I don't know that. Hmm. Pony XL is uncensored and has a focus on 2D art. That's probably why I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> at multiple subjects, Pony XL. So that's like a, a not safe for work model or what? Pony XL. Let me write that down. But I usually don't do like adult models on my channel. So that's probably why I don't have that. Um, Wait a second. Let me, you know what? Let us go to, um, let us go really quick. This is ConfuEye running here. And this is the stuff that I did um, for my, as a Patreon reward, right? And that, what this is doing is like, I created this kind of abstract, not, not that one, because this is like a, this is edited with Photoshop, but like, just imagine you have black, big black lines and big white lines here. And this is then turned into a mask. That is a video input as an animation of the video. And I use that as an image input and also as a mask input to um, render the background behind the character with this kind of abstract rotation kind of thing. And I think it has a lot of potential. So that's kind of a cool thing. And I have, I've not seen too many people like do it in this way. Often like you use this kind of thing to actually create real scenes, you know, not abstract patterns. So that's kind of nice. Um, what was I about to do? Oh yes, um, alpha, let's go here. And then we go here and then we go, this is already pretty cool. 
Um, let me think about it. What are we gonna do? Um, Mars Science Station, sci-fi movie scene, sci-fi landscape, mm, cinematic scene. Okay, let's see what we get from that. Just as, like some inspirations here. Ooh, okay, interesting. Some valleys. Oh, with the long, with the long scene here. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh. Do you think we can create something like this with this kind of perspective from the top? Hmm. Huh. That's actually a pretty cool scene. Hmm. We could try that. That's an interesting challenge for Krita. Let's see if we can do something like that. So um, give me a brush here. Just to brush this in real quick, one second. I don't have a noise layer here. Mm. Let's start out with the blue sky here. Maybe make the background. <sighs> Again, I'm not filling it. One second. Give me the fill tool. Boop. Okay, there we go. And then we make a new layer. Boop. And then we fill that with orange. Doesn't matter. We go here. We make this random noise. And then again, we blend this overlay and about 20% and we lock that layer. Okay, good. Now make a new layer for the scenery. So um, we go back to the brush. Sorry, we need to have the brush tool here. And then we're gonna go here maybe with orange for the landscape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is going overboard here. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, let's see. Good, we have that. Now for the gray which is supposed to become the science station. Let's do it like this. And then also have some darker gray, maybe back here. And then some brighter gray, whoops, maybe up here. And then we want to have this kind of spike uh, like in the other scene, stealing, stealing art ideas <laughs> from AI, no, nonetheless. Is this is how how far does it come? We are stealing from AI. There we go. Oh, that's very dark. This is too dark, my friend. This is also very dark. A little bit lighter here. Go like that. Make this a little bit brighter here in the front. Okay. Um. Let's try just Juggernaut Lightning. Uh, wait, we are in the wrong mode. And then we're going to set this to around, like, let's go here with 65%. Um, oval science station on Mars. Um, drone view from above. Above. Um, digital painting masterpiece masterpiece let's see if we get a masterpiece allows for image input yes well not Krita itself it's a plugin inside of like it's a ConfuI plugin um, I have a video on my channel on how to do that um, yeah Mitchoni is like still one of my really big favorites hi Doffler how are you doing thanks for joining um <laughs> oh okay <laughs> um no that wasn't that wasn't it that wasn't it um yeah let's go here back to the fantasy uh gothic style and see what we get from that which these are only style words by the way these are not different models let's change the seat because sometimes it doesn't pick up on the style uh change alone ah there we go oh Okay, it it it's not as oh. Okay, no, it's not as nice as what uh, Mitchani is creating. Hmm, it's interesting though. It's interesting. Let's uh, maybe go a little bit higher here on the strength. 
Ooh, okay, I wanna save this, wow. Okay, it looks a little bit like something something. Oh, this is better. It has a little bit of a problem here with the oval shape though. Let's turn this off again because I wanna see some more. Um, let's write here silver metallic and then also write um, sunset haze. Let's see what we get from that. Oh, oh, okay. I wanna save that, turn it off again. One second, I'm gonna show you in a second, one moment. Come on, render something. Why is it so slow today? If the resolution is a little bit too high, maybe, I don't know. Also cool, I'm gonna save that too. Pretty nice. Okay, let's let's have a look at that. Let's let's pause this here real quick. So this is oh I want to have that too. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, pretty cool. It is from uh, like a drone perspective. That their perspective is not as interesting as the one that Mitchani has created, uh, but it certainly is something. This is also very nice. Of course, like it also depends on how like I um, painted that kind of oval on the on the um, on the ground. Um, that's also pretty nice. Very good. This is also very nice, and it's like this is LCM, so this is why it's not that detailed, um, right? So don't don't um, pay too much attention to the details we have here, more to the results we get. This is the first one, which is also nice. Um, yeah, so there is a certain choice here. The only thing like I don't like too much about um, what Stable Diffusion often is doing is it doesn't have this kind of artistic expressiveness that you have from Mid Journey, right? You see like the soft haze, the lightning, the interesting camera perspective, like the interesting way that kind of the building is made, stuff like that. Um, mid, um, Mitchell is just a lot better on that. Whoa. <laughs> what is that? Wow. <laughs> Mitchell is just like great. Mitchell is really good with that stuff. Hey, this is also nice with the guy, the, the, the uh, astronaut standing here. We had something similar um, last time, not last time, but in one of the last streams. Oh, ooh. Empty building, also a good idea. Hmm. That's also that's kind of cool. I kind of like we I feel like we should try that. I like that. I like that idea. It's a little bit like creepy stuff, but we can try that. I like that idea. Um wait a second. Let me turn everything off here. We keep that. We can turn that off. We can turn this off basically, and then we make a new layer. And I should I should really look at the chat. One second, while I look at the chat, we're gonna turn this on here. Uh, also like hit the subscribe button. There we go. Please, <laughs> subscribe -o. Elon Musk, Elon Musk. By the way, about Elon Musk, one thing you never hear Elon Musk say is that Mars has no atmosphere, you know? Like why is this always like, um, not mentioned at all, no atmosphere, not a good thing. You can't really live without an atmosphere. It's kind of like a bad thing, you know, for, because like uh, every everybody's like, hey, um, oh, we should, we should turn the button off. Um, we can just like, um, what is it called? Like geo, what? <laughs> Reform the planet into a green planet. The problem is, um, no, uh, uh, no atmosphere. We can create an atmosphere. Sorry, I, I was I was mistaken. I, I wasn't talking about the atmosphere. What I meant to say is it doesn't have um, a magnetic field, and nobody talks about that, especially not Elon Musk. Because the problem is with no magnetic field is even though you can have an atmosphere, you still get all the radiation from space because the only thing that protects us here is the magnetic field that is like pushing everything apart that is coming at us from the solar storms and stuff like that, right? Atmosphere also filters stuff out, but the magnetic field is super important for that. And we have no way to restart the magnetic field of Mars. So not even like you can't like throw atomic bombs at the core of the planet because we can't bore that deep, 
right? You know what I mean? Like even on planet Earth, we can't make a hole to the center of the planet. So yeah, not, not possible, you know? It's interesting that it's never mentioned. Terraform, thank you very much, Terraform. My brain um, is already going into the, the um, zero brain cell <laughs> level <laughs> of live streaming. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, oh, one of my one of my favorite uh, topics: abandoned hotel, abandoned hotel um, lobby, lobby, H hotel lobby. Okay, let's start out here with some creepy, creepy crawly colors. Let's go here a little bit greenish, green areno, like this. How about that? Actually, um, again, fill. Bloop, there we go. Okay, cool. And then uh, we could, oh God. Now the question is um, painting skills or no painting skills. Uh, you know what kind of direction this is tending towards. <laughs> You've seen me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, to, my, to my excuse, to my excuse, I'm painting with a mouse here, okay? Um, so yeah. Um, Maybe we should make a layout. One second. Let me let me make a layout here a little bit. Uh, what what do we want to do? Let's go. I can't even see my mouse. Where's my mouse? Oh, it's down here. Maybe make the brush a little bit thicker here. Um, how about we go like this? Go like that a little bit over here. Make a room. How about that? Roomy groomy. It's starting, starting to, to come to life. Um, maybe we make uh, the staircase down here. How about that? Can go like this. And then we go like this. And then we can go up here a little bit and up here a little bit. And we connect that and go over here and we connect that and then we connect this and go down here and connect that. So we have a bit of a staircase. Um, I feel like the stuff is already too big that I'm doing here. Also, this is going kind of nowhere. Um, maybe have some, let's go like this. Let's see if I can actually still do something. Ooh. Should be here, I guess. All right. This is a little bit off. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me make another layer here and then we can see if we can paint some of that stuff into it. How big is that? How big is that? That's good. Yeah, let's try this. And then I have to go back to the green. Where's the green? Whoop! There we go. Go a little bit darker here. Um, wait, make the side walls here. Make the side walls here a little bit darker. Okay, already um failed one second god damn it mouse don't kill me there we go okay this this would be the right point to introduce the um the lo-fi music maybe how about that should we do some lo-fi music oh this was like way over there. Okay, go a little bit darker here and smaller for this column here. Damn, that was not straight. The room is way too high. I just realized the room is way too high. Anyways, should we maybe, what is that kind of color here? Hmm, make a bigger brush maybe. Let's try it like this just for the start. And then we go a little bit darker here, like this, for the sides. 
kind of coming together a little bit. What do you think? It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, whoop, well, that's not bright enough. Or should we do, should we go darker maybe? Let's just make a couple of stripes here. <laughs> oh God. Oh, I should maybe do some that are a little bit off. Huh? How about that? Okay, let's just render this and see what we get from that. Okay. Um, boogie boogie music. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The AI is doing something com completely different, completely ignoring me. Um, teal, um, light. I guess we have to change to something else here. Let's go with digital artwork and see what we get from that. Even though this might not be the best um, style words. Yeah, that's not good. Digital painting. Do we have digital artwork or digital painting? Let's go digital painting here. Cinematic light, concept art, masterpiece, movie scene. Movie scene, how about that? Let's see if we can get that. I mean, it kind of looks Ah, um, so, and a broken staircase in the back. Okay. Oh, okay. By the way, we also have these other, um, Tim Burton style, no. Watercolor Wes Anderson style is probably going to be too. Um... No, that's not it at all. It's too happy. Cinematic, cinematic photo XL. Then we probably have to remove this here and say raw photo uh, movie scene. There we go. Let's see what the chat says. Maybe mention stairs. Yes, we have them in there, I think. Staircase. Stairs. Just put stairs. I could also like go a little bit lower here with the noise just to get like the first impression on what I painted. And then we can refine it afterwards. You see, that is one of the problems with AI is like if the model doesn't understand what you try to do, it just can't generate it. Nope. No. Let's take another seat maybe. Sometimes the seat is also the problem. So you get from here. And then I will when I, when I get something good. I will adapt from that. Let's let's take this for example. And then let's take this. Go a little bit higher. Maybe that is too complex. Let's see what we get without the painting at all, 100%. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it looks pretty cool. Doesn't have anything to do with the with the um, mm. Let's just write abandoned hotel lobby teal light. Or let's yeah, teal. Cinematic light. Oh, it doesn't say raw photo. Movie scene. Hmm. Why is the stuff that it creates so really like bland? Let's try the Gothic. 
Yeah, it creates, a, it creates a really nice, like, gothic scene, so that's pretty cool. Let's try that with the input we have. Maybe we we'll just we can do a, 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 a like a. Wow, that's nice. Come on, man! I, I don't always want to have like to draw mountains because of these shitty models that can only do mountains and waifus. Can we do, please do something that's a little bit more interesting? I guess it doesn't understand the the the. the um. Oh, by the way, um, we could try if I make a. The hell is this? Oh, these are the layers. I'm an idiot. Yes, these are the layers. Um, let's take this and then go here to depth, and let's see if this would create some depth map from what I have painted. That would be interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now let's see what we get with this. If it doesn't work in a minute, we're going to go back to like mountains. <laughs> mountains and landscapes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. That's kind of better. It doesn't it doesn't show the stairs at all though. It probably doesn't understand what the stairs are. Hmm. Stairs in the back. No. God damn it. Come on, be nice. Hmm. Go 100%. Maybe go a little bit lower here. Oh, okay. Wait, I want to capture this. It might be good for later. Let's see what else we get. Oh, okay. Depth map actually kind of worked. It's not really a lobby or anything, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think my painting is also just like shit. So that's probably uh, that's probably one of the reasons why this doesn't work. Is it's just not the right, the input isn't good enough, or like maybe too specific. There's too much stuff going on in there. Yeah, this is why it's like much easier to just create a, like a landscape or something that the model really understands. Let's go here a little bit lower still. What does the chat say? Try staircase. I tried staircase before. It wouldn't take. Um, you do some classic stuff. Ah, AI, why you always are so difficult to do some interesting things. Okay, let's delete that stuff. Let's go with some boring old shit. Um, so, AI needs some candy sweetness. Let's do some candy sweetness. Um, we're going to go over here again. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's go like this. Okay, bring this up here. We will disable all of that. Why do I have this layer twice now? Anyways, let's go like that. And then let's do some stuff that the AI can do very nicely. Um, where's my fill? There's my fill. Make this nice and dark like so. Okay, and then Give me a brush, brushy, brushy. Um, we can go like this and get some good result. You will see like magically, it's gonna poop out an image is exactly what we say. So here we go, boom, we have this. Go like that a little bit. And then we go like this. Make the brush a little bit smaller. There we go. And then maybe put some here and give me a darker brush. 
and we put that here. Good. Beautiful woman in a Victorian dress at night. Boom shakalaka. This is probably going to take the first try. Because, yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's a little bit too realistic, though. Not, not a digital painting. That's right here. Digital painting masterpiece. There we go. It's magic, my friends. It's magic. Because this is what these models are trained for, is the waifus and the monsters. There we go. And the land, a little bit of like fantasy landscapes. But there we have it. There you have it, your, your, your fantasy queen. Damn it, AI. <laughs> Always the same thing. <laughs> you, you can do a million with these if you want to. You can do so many of these. I don't, uh, why don't I have the same gray here? Nope, that's the wrong gray. Is this the right gray? That's the right gray. Yes, there we go. Yes, okay. There we go. Very nice. You see? The holding a lamp is pretty cool, actually. Um, with both hands. There we go. Does it take? No. Now that we write it, doesn't it doesn't work anymore? That's interesting. Should we make this a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit longer? How about that? Do you get it? No, it doesn't get it. A little bit sl a little smaller here. <laughs> See? <laughs> ah! As soon as you prompt for it, it doesn't. It's like no, I don't know what you mean. What What is a lamp? What are you talking about, my friend? Let's reduce this. There we go. Very nice. Let's add this here and then maybe we can refine the hands or something. It's probably like a little bit uh, difficult to have like both hands in here. Uh, but we can maybe have this. Ow, ow, ah, no, it was good. And then it went away. It was good and then it went away. Ah. Uh, let me lower this a little bit. There no. No, it was it was really good for a second. At least from the side of my eye it looked good. Come on. Give it to me. Did I actually save the other image? Oh yes, I I, I did. Nope. Just hold the lamp. This is kind of okay, but no. <laughs> no. Mm, not not quite. Need to have the hand fix tool in here. Now this would be a reason where you say I want to have my own um Confu I in there where I can build the notes and get results the way I want them to be. Rather than like clicking fifty million times to get a good result. I think this is again like not um A, a, a lamp handle. Does it understand what a lamp handle is, maybe? Probably not. Come on. Give it to me. No, nope, doesn't want to. Nope. Nope. Man, I think we had it at the first thing, and then it, it went away. And now it doesn't want it anymore. 50%. Let's see. Maybe we should some take some intermediate things. Let's take this one. It's kind of, I feel like it's a little bit closer, maybe. No, maybe not. Okay. By the way, we should also look at your um, AI art. If you want to. 
come on. Ah, forget about the hands. Who cares about the hands? Okay. Uh, we could do, we could try some other thing and then we look at your works. One second. Let me deselect this real quick. So uh, that's the one we had here. And then uh, we can basically draw over that. Mm. Gothic style warrior holding a long sword. Let's check out what we can do with that. Where's the fill? Fill it, baby. No, it doesn't want to. I didn't lock it though. Layers in oh, layers invisible. Oh yeah, it is. I'm on the wrong layer. Ah, it doesn't do it. Delete. Fill. Okay, good. All right. Um, select, deselect. Give me the brush. Brushy, brushy. Um, let's maybe, hmm, it's a good question. Um, well, I, I'm going to look at the chat in a second. Give me a minute here so I can like just paint this out. Let me see. I want to have the arms like this. And then we have the long sword down here. And then we have like his legs down here, right? So that's the kind of thing. So let's create the upper body here with that. And then take a darker one and put that here like so. Hopefully the eye is understanding what that is. And then maybe go even darker so we can put the pants down here. And then we're going to put the head up here, which is also armored. And then maybe we go a little bit brighter up here for these kind of like things. Probably not a good idea to make them this bright, but let's see. And now we need the sword. Just make it like this. Whoops. Make it even darker, maybe. Like that. There we go. Let's see what we get from that. Go a little bit stronger here, 70%. <laughs> um, There we go. That's a, that's what I'm that's what I'm telling you. Like AI, it, the models are just trained on that kind of stuff. And no matter how shitty the drawing is, because the model is trained on exactly this, it's pooping out these kind of images like a million. You see, like boom. The hands are not great, as always. Never mind that. Uh, but like you have the armor, you have the guy standing there. Sometimes you get the long sword. Not always. The anatomy is a little bit crazy, to be honest. But um, yeah, look at that. Pretty pretty crazy results here. Um, wait. Um, standing in a dark castle. Let's see if we can get that too. There we go. And then, of course, as always, you can combine that um, to just like bring it over, paint out more details, stuff like that. Um, by the way, let me. Oh, okay, very nice. Um, does it know when I go here? D and D card design. Does it check? Does it understand that? Dungeon and Dragons kind of like card design. It doesn't like, um, can we, can I move that in, inside? Sorry, I should really look at the chat. I'm, I'm such a bad streamer. I want to move this inside a little bit. 
um, like so. And then I want to make a, a like a frame around that. Let's go like this. D and D playing card design. Golden intricate frame. There we go. <laughs> how how about that? Oh, okay. Now it messed it up. Now it messed it up. Okay, uh, but it was cool for a second. Maybe we should lower at that point a little bit the um, the denoise because it's kind of doing crazy stuff right now. Somehow it forgot uh, what the body is of the um, of the warrior. Maybe I should I should uh, remove the golden frame here. It's uh, probably confusing the AI. Yeah, it kind of went off the rails here with the golden frame. That was a little bit too much, probably. Maybe I should have done that later. Go a little bit higher again. Ah. And one more. There we go. We're back. Okay. <laughs> what is that? That's an interesting outfit. Interesting. Wow. Ooh. Very small sword. Probably has a good technique now. <laughs> and this is already it's like misunderstanding again here. Oh, man. There we go. Well, that's a beautiful one. Let's Let's copy that over. See, so, by the way, let's see what we get from this. Hmm. Has a sword on its side, so. But still pretty cool. Wow. I don't like the sword on the side, though. Oh, I copied it over instead of deleting it. One second. Let's go back here. Come on. Give me a sword in the middle. Eh. Uh, Give me sword in the middle, come on. Sword in the middle. Do it. Mm. I should like paint a hilt in here or something like that. Wow. That is an interesting outfit. Yeah, the eye doesn't really understand what I did over here. It's, it's a little bit, especially with the golden frame, it's a little bit crazy. Um, so we probably should have like not added that border here. That was a bit too much for the AI to understand, especially because it's like not connecting to the ground anymore. So it's kind of like difficult to see if this is a body or not. Uh, so now this is becoming better. There we go. Yeah, you can see now it's working again much better. Can we please get a sword in the middle where it's holding it? The guy's holding it with both his hands. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, cool. Um, and now we can actually like maybe try to bring back the golden frame. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Wow. Okay. Okay. I like that. Getting even more detail. Let's take this. Wow. There we go. And by the way, I want to see if I can... Um, let me make a new layer here. One second. And then we're going to make the frame here again. Like that. Make it a little bit more into the middle. It's a little bit uneven, like that. 
the head I had I should have made it a little bit smaller mm. and now I want to see like if I make a selection and invert the selection if that works or not hmm select invert selection does that work or not hmm d and d golden playing card border intricate details okay maybe go higher here with the strength how about we go a hundred percent because it's it doesn't really matter too much with the input come on ooh it's putting it way too too close to the center rather than to the edge hmm let's turn this off and then make a selection like this and invert that it might have a problem with just like this kind of strange selection area might not be um, liking that and also like for some reason it has a very big border around this kind of in painting selection I, I, I let's let's look at the chat I haven't looked at the chat in forever I can fix the anatomy after you copy it's just painting in the wrong area uh, you not need to be more accurate the I will fix it after you copy it just paint on the wrong area ah okay I think from the same creative creative AI diffusion um, markdown forget about flashings when the darkness envelops us <laughs> chairman warrior okay uh, let's go here through some uh, seats If there's a point option in ConfUI, what do you mean by point option? The software is called um, the software is called Krita, and the the plugin is uh, ConfUI or AI for Krita. I don't know. I have a I have a um, I have a video on my channel though about that. If you search Krita on my channel, you can find videos about that. Wait, I don't have the input from the image. Let's go here 70%. See if we can something get something nicer. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not a good idea to try to have this kind of frame around it. That's probably just wasting the time right now. Um select deselect let's see if we render the whole image if that is creating a more interesting border wow <laughs> okay i mean that's a pretty cool card border not so great but the the card wow didn't save that though Ooh, i i want to save that because that is pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> the borders are not great but the cards are getting better and better whoa 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 oh and now we have this kind of like can you see the face here over there in a second look at that let me save this look at look at the face here that's pretty cool huh wow that is pretty nice huh and the hands are also pretty nice the sword is like not very swordy up here but um, overall this is very cool very nice by the way let's hit the subscribe button don't forget about that while we are nerding out over these kind of D, &D card designs here there we go okay 
I want to see, like, I want to check if I get more subscribers from this um, uh, stream than from other streams just because I said people should subscribe because I was told it kind of works, but I don't know. Um, let's go here higher with the denoise. But that's kind of like pretty cool to create these kind of card designs from the from the painting input. Can we like let's go back here a couple of steps? Um, intricate details, skeleton warrior. Let's see what kind of warriors we can create with this. Let's go higher from the denoise. <laughs> oh, lay! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! No, I was too late. You have to be quick with the clicking. Damn. That was pretty cool, but I didn't I didn't click fast enough. Whoa. He has a pretty long special sword. <laughs> yeah. Come on. The other one was pretty cool. I kind of wish like with this tool that that's also pretty cool. With this tool that um, it would save the different iterations somewhere. So if it like, I see something I like, I can go back to it um, and it's not just lost in the space, in the void, you know? It's kind of like, it's, it's going a little bit quick here, especially like this is even, it, it would go, I think even quicker, even though the stream doesn't have an impact right now on this, but um, Anyways, you know what I mean. Like, for example, version 1.5, it would just go way quicker through these kind of iterations here. Um, maybe we should have used a 1.5 model or a lower resolution to, to get something that is rendering faster, right? Um, but it's pretty cool. Some pretty nice results. The first one was still the best one. This is kind of nice. Let's take that one. Even though the, the hands are used. Let's see if with a higher uh, one, if we can get better. Or maybe from what you said, if I now paint over this, does it fix it? Like just, oh, that wasn't, that was the wrong color. If I just paint gray over that, you probably meant something different, but let's see if that is kind of like fixing the hands. Oops, no, that's doing something completely different. I, I I know you didn't mean it that way, like just not just like putting a blob on it, doing some more detail in that probably. <laughs> ah, yeah, baby. <laughs> it's it's our lover boy skeleton. Look at that. He has some love for you. Yes, he he he. The skeleton says, "Hey, leave leave a like while you're here. <laughs> Show some love." <laughs> skeleton boy is showing some love to the stream. There we go. Skeletor is yeah. He's very passionate about this. So yeah. There we go. Um. We can go we can go back on that and see what else we can create from that. What else could we put in here? Um How about an elfin warrior? Warrior, elfin warrior. Oh, there we go. With the golden stuff. If we if we go completely back, what does it do? Let me turn off this off. It's probably too far behind. Yeah, that's that's completely different though. It's still pretty cool though. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. Ivory playing card. Let's see what this does. Hmm. How 
How about we change this into wizard? Interesting. Hmm. Wizard holding a cane. Can you see the details or is it too small on the stream? Wow. Oh, holding a staff. No, not a staff. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, the designs are pretty nice. It's just not, it's not very staffy what he's holding. Maybe let's go to 80%. What does the chat say? Ooh. If I go to 80%, it's kind of losing the overall position though. But we could go here a little bit maybe in between. Let's go 76%, a little bit more. I mean, that's also cool with that kind of stuff. So it's not like a complete loss or anything. Come on, do something. Let's see what the chat says. A cat, a cat-like person. Oh, that's also beautiful. The hands are pooped again. Hmm. What, what is the what is the cat race called in uh, in Skyrim? The Kachu or something? How do you write that? How do you spell that? Feline warrior. What what is the name of those? You can also try like a lizard warrior or something like that. Like a one more version here. Oh, also nice. I'm kind of like, it's a little bit strange that it's now it's so, oh, let's, let's take that one. And then maybe in the next version, it's fixing the hand over here. Eh, not really. By the way, let me stop this real quick and go to generate and see what we get from that. Uh, we also go here with 75%. Click on refine. This is now rendering. I guess it's rendering with the lightning option from the amount of steps. We could also change that. Mm. Oh, so we got a female, um, female wizard. Interesting. Let me go in here real quick. Uh, let me copy this over to, oh, wait a second. Oh, this is using 20 steps though. With Chuggernaut, and it's not giving me better results. I'm surprised by that. Hmm. Let's try STE. Refine. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so that's not the right one. SDE Karas, maybe. Let's try that one. Uh, what does the chat say? Kashit. Kashit, yes. Kashit. Right. What do we get? Eh. Eh. Not, not crazy good. I feel like um, Chuggernaut is sometimes better with less steps. Let's go back here to the upscale, uh, sorry, the live version. Um, and then let's see Kashit wizard do we have this oh this is now in the preview one second i have to click this away go here live let's try this one more time with the kashit kashit wizard if that's working or not oh <laughs> ah, ah, that's that's a nice cat that's a sweet cat look at that mr cat wizard ah he wants some cat treats right away. 
There we go. Look at that. He he is the magic, the magic master of cuddles. Look at that. What a cute face. He looks like a little bit like these kind of Maine Coon cats, huh? That is cute. There we go. I'm a huge cat fan. There we go. Let's try another version of that. Nope, that one is not so good. It's kind of strange, like I feel often when you use um, when you use uh, LCM, like the first result you get is often kind of like the best one. And then after that, it kind of like is, is not that good anymore. Although this one is also very nice. It's sticking very close to the details though, even though we have like 76% um, strength for denoise, it's not going far away from the design we already have. I like the stone down here. That's pretty cool. That's a nice detail. Maybe we change up here to Skyrim. How about that? Skyrim. Hmm. Oh! Ooh, as interesting that Skyrim is creating like more muted colors, which makes sense because Skyrim is pretty muted from the style. I like the design it created, but it has a completely different vibe to it. That is really interesting. Not as colorful, not as playful, but pretty nice. Some very nice results. Can you see that? Like, of, like I have it bigger on my screen. Make it full screen if you can. Because these are like, look at these beautiful results we're getting here. That is beautiful. Wow. I just like, uh, I wish it was more vivid from the colors. This one is even better. Um, let's set here um, vivid warm colors. Uh, oh, beautiful. Let's, oh, wow, look at that. Now that's a good kitty. <laughs> Those are some nice results. Uh, I don't need the second sword here, but these are some very nice results. Wow, that one is nice with the legs down there. Look at that, getting better. Nice details, nice details. By the way, the way he's standing in that cave, I want to change that into a necromancer. Necromancer. Is this how you write that, necromancer? Let me check this real quick. Necromancer. Of course, I didn't write it correctly. Oh, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to have a helmet on there. But it's pretty cool. Very nice necromancer, not gonna lie. But ooh, nice. So we have to turn that off. Hmm. With horns? I don't I don't want a horn on that one. But it still looks pretty good. Hmm. You can go, uh, you can turn on here um, negative prompt. You see here, can turn it on. And then you have that in here. So we can put uh, now um, helmet and horns. Let's see if that takes it away or not. For some reason. Ah, there we go, feline, cat, so that's pretty cool. Let's try feline. Is this how you type feline? Let me see. 
Ah, with an E at the end. Okay, feline, Philly. Oh, I have an E at the end. Ah. Hmm. Skeletons on the ground. Let's see if this takes. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, go on. Uh, no, he's turning into a skeleton. Hmm. Oh. What, what do you say to a, like a half skeleton, half cat um, result? Kachi. Don't in her necromancy attire channels magic with feline grace. That sounds pretty cool. Deadly mighty hunt. That sounds pretty cool. Let's try that. Um, wait, let me save this real quick somewhere. Let's just put it in here for the moment. I hope this is not going away. And then we take yours and we go back here. By the way, what, what kind of card is shown here? Oh, okay. Never mind. Ooh. Eh. Very long body though. Strange. Ooh, okay. Wow. Not exactly what I had in mind. Why is it such a long body? Don't in her necromancer attire channels magic with feline grace. Her spells are stealthy and deadly. Mighty hunt. Let's make this a male. Kichara? Wait a second. Kashik. Let's bring that back. Mage. Let's make this a mage. Well, actually, want to have a necromancer. Oh, it has a necromancer here. Necromancer. There you go. This is pretty cool, though. Very, very good. Very nice. Has a little bit too much, like. Don't know what he's holding there. Yeah, there's cats on the ground. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's a good one. The only thing that's like not good here is the cats on the ground. Does it say cat anywhere? Oh, this is a nice one. Let's take this one. You can see you can do like really cool stuff. But the, the only problem is like it's kind of limited with why does it have this cat stuff in here? Necromancer don't in necromancer attire. Channels magic with ah with feline grace. Let's just put here grace. Stealthy deadly. Midnight hunt. Aha, uh -huh, now it's better. It has less uh, cat elements in here. Wait, what happens if I put eye patch? Eye patch. Does that work? Mm, no. Ooh, cool. This is a nice one. Um, let me try this where uh let's put this like so and then maybe we put this here maybe i should make this brighter so the ai can see that there is something happening here does it create an eye patch not so far Wearing an eye patch. I probably have to select the head for that. But it's it's doing some pretty cool stuff. I'm really impressed so far. Um, let me select this up here.
let's select this and remove it I patch together try it like this pirate eye patch it does not like the eye patch idea go a little bit higher here with the denoise it's so strange that some things they work immediately and then other stuff is just not the eye is just not having it but I like that you can create all these kind of different heads in there it's just even though there's clearly an eye patch on that face it just doesn't understand what's going on maybe I have to lower this a little bit does that work No, it's just not having it. Let's just put wearing an eye patch. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's a little bit goofy as an eye patch, but no. Mm, getting closer. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Wearing a leather eye patch. Hmm. Okay, a little bit lower here. It's it's so interesting that the eye does not understand what's going on right now. It's like this is the best indicator that AI is like not smart at all. AI just does not know anything that's going on. It's just a like an assumption of what um like a, it's a mathematical assumption. It doesn't have anything any understanding of the image content. Cat wearing a leather eye patch. Man, it worked a little bit better before, and now it's just like not having it. Let's go back to chest eye patch. Maybe the leather thing is confusing it. Um, by the way, also my, my style words here might very much confuse it. Let's go back here to digital artwork. That might work a lot better. I think I have a lot of words in there that are not good for LCM because it's just too long. Let's put in the leather again. Man, give me one good thing. Get just one. I'm happy with one. Okay, let's abandon the eye patch idea. God damn it. It's not having it no matter what we could use this and then see if we can get something closer to it go a little bit higher again please please give me something Man, how difficult can it be to create an eye patch?
What does the chat say? Pirate eye patch. Now, nah, yeah, but the problem is, like, if I write pirate eye patch, it turns it into a pirate. Pirate eye patch. Let's try that. Removes it completely. Yeah, and now we have a pirate. Yeah, you see, it's it's it can't focus on the eye patch anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? It might also be like the wrong color for an eye patch. Maybe that's the problem here. Maybe we should make it black. Give me black. The problem is that the rest of the cat is already pretty dark, so. Oh God, I'm going crazy here. Yeah, no. Let's let's forget about the eye patch. This is probably because the AI is not trained on that. If it would be anything else that is cat-like or it would be a person with an eye patch, it would work right away, 100%. Like, uh, for example, if you have male wizard wearing an eye patch, probably going to work right away. Nope. Or not, maybe not. <laughs> Pretty cool wizards though. No, the model is just not, the model doesn't know it. Yeah, 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 there we go. Anyways, um, what's the stream time by the way? Oh God, we're already on two hours. Uh, let me stop this real quick. Let me switch to the big screen one second. What's the big screen? This is the big screen, right? Yes. Uh, let me see if we have some other submissions we can go through. Not really. Today, not a submission day, apparently. Oh, we have like, um, oh, we have a couple more. So that's cool. Let me close everything else on the right side. No, this not. Uh, next one. Oh, okay, the Red King. Let me check the other ones first so I, I know that I can just like open them up. Hmm, okay. Go for the next one. Oh, that's music. I can't play music because I'm streaming from a different computer. So sorry, I can't show that at all. Um, I streaming, I'm having a computer I stream from and then another computer I use for rendering. Um, and that's why I cannot, uh, you can't hear the audio. Ooh. And one is not working. But this, they, this these are two images anyways. This is maybe you send it because it's like, um, one second. No, that's the other one. Yes, that's the right one. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful Red King here. Wow, that's very big. Um, or we can leave it like that. Look at that. Very nice face. Beautiful. Very nice details. Human hand. <laughs> but that's okay. Very beautiful. Very nice sword down here. Very good. So that's pretty cool. Very nice. Love the details. Love the face. All right, let's go to the next one. This one for, was from Chip. Now we have Kevin with Deep Sea. A little bit strange, but why is this not zooming to the size of the image? That's kind of strange. Um, anyways, Deep Sea. Pretty cool with the text. Um, what is it using? Does it say anything about the model? Oh, Tempest. Tempest Artistic, interesting, okay. 80 steps, 80 steps? Holy moly. With DPM++ 2M, 80 steps? Why so much? Why so many steps for that? That seems, um, seems a lot. It has to be silent. It's a slow, ah, maybe. 
Is there like a celebration day today? Something going on? I think this is the one that doesn't work. Yeah, that's the one that doesn't work. Let's go to the second one. The second one. This one is really cool. Also in different style. I like with the music notes and stuff. This is very creative. Um, it's recommended for that model to render 80 steps. That's crazy. Interesting. Does it take long? Mr. Butters. <laughs> Anyways, this is very nice. I like that. With the floating notes, it is very like cinematic beautiful colors beautiful composition i like this like circle around her head so she's highlighted additionally um very beautiful pose everything pretty cool very nice really cool work like that uh thank you olga and then the last one is from f bearers this is hopefully oh that's okay yes um wow okay very cool with the um, cities here and the two explorers looking at that. It's a little bit strange that they're kind of separated uh, from these, like with these two spikes, but okay, why not? They're, they're ex like, that's okay. Pretty cool. Very nice. Love the huge buildings and the kind of like, at the same time, like, like uh, how can I say, a, like barren landscape. And then you have these streets, like it's a mining, a huge mining facility, uh, uh, sci-fi that they stumbled upon or something like that. Pretty cool, very nice. Can we get that bigger? Let me see, open. No, not really. It's staying that small. I can zoom in a little bit though. There we go, now you can see it in full detail. How cool is that? Four times longer than 20 steps. <laughs> well, I mean, sometimes not really. I mean, with some models render faster, some samplers render faster than others. So it's not always same, same with these kind of things, right? Um, anyways, there we go. I think we created some pretty cool stuff today with the cards, with the designs. You showed some pretty cool stuff too. We didn't do anything with ConfUI today, but maybe that was also a good thing to have it more simple. Check out my video about Krita for installing this stuff and you can play around with that. And then uh, when I switch between these different setups, what I do is like I have the same model. Maybe I should also find some different models that work better with Krita. Um, and I just use style words for the positive and negative prompt to get specific results, right? Uh, so this is this is what I'm switching between. It's not loading a new model. Uh, which also makes it faster to switch between these things. Uh, but you can certainly for every style set up a new model if you want to a different model. Um, keep in mind, if you want to create a new style, you have to press new first and then enter the new style. Don't make changes to a style and then expect you can save that as a new style. For some reason, it's not how that is set up. So if you change something in the style, this is saved right away and there is no going back as far as I know. So yeah. Um, anyways, that's it for today. Let me go to the big screen. Boom, no, that's not the big screen. Uh, that's it for today. We're hitting the two hour mark. Today we are closing um, on time. Make it a little bit easier to rewatch. I hope there was some, some cool stuff for you in there. Um, yeah, thank you very much and See you soon in the upcoming tutorials. And maybe I'm doing also a live stream during the week next week. Maybe I start to do two live streams. I don't know yet. Let's see. I don't know yet. Um, anyways, thank you very much for watching. And um, see you soon, my friends. Let me cue the music here also. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. See you soon. Bye.